Hey everybody, this is Chris Thunder Laser, and congratulations on getting your Aurora Light Series. Now, this deploys a couple of different uh, new features that we're not used to, and one of them being the T-bar to do your focal distance. Uh, so we're gonna cover that first, and how to test this and how to get this calibrated correctly uh, for the proper focal distance. So one of the things I like to show you is that there is an Allen key here that you can move this up and down depending on your focal distance. So you'd be loosening this, sliding it up and down after you test uh, to, to get the correct focal distance. And it's pretty cool, it just kind of hangs up here on these two thumb screws. And then as you raise and lower it, uh, using the arrows on the front of the machine, uh, your material is going to go underneath that. And as soon as it touches, that should be the correct distance. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to run a real quick test in Lightburn on my material and see, because uh, it is visual and, and audible, the strength of the laser beam. And we want the strongest beam possible uh, for engraving and for cutting. Uh, so <clears throat> let me run this test and show you exactly what that looks like. What I recommend is you run at a little bit slower speed, uh, moderate power, and a low frequency. So you'll probably be around 500 millimeters per second and uh, maybe 50% power with a 50 kilohertz uh, for your frequency. And then your LPI is gonna be rather high because you want time to look at this going across the material. So I'm gonna hit play and you'll be able to see exactly what happens. It should take a little bit longer. Um, and that's good because I want time to be able to move this laser head up and down to find the sweet spot. So as you can see, it looks pretty bright. If I go down, it dims. If I go up, it gets brighter and then dims again. Uh, it also will leave a different effect. So you can use these different focal lengths, uh, you know, just like a CO2 laser where you focus in and out uh, for different results. You can do the same thing with the fiber laser. Just know that eventually it's going to go away. I'm gonna hit play again so I can redo this. All right, I see and I can hear. And that's about perfect. I'm gonna let it finish its process. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I, I loosened this already to see, um, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this to the back here. I'm going to put this up against the T-bar and the holder, and then set it down right there. Now, this is going to be the optimum focus. I've already tested it. I know that it is the brightest beam um, and it has the greatest effect. This is my focal distance. So once I have that established and the, the, the distance set correctly, I can come in here with my Allen key and I could tighten down that bar. And again, I wanna do it again. I'm just gonna show you real quick. This slides up and down and we are tuning the position of this T-bar on the rod so that it is our perfect fo focal distance. Again, I'm gonna put it up there, allow it to rest on the material, and then tighten it down so that it is correct. Okay, so any material I put under here, um, you know, whether it be a, I'm gonna raise it up a little bit, Whether it be a coin, I'm just going to lower it down. And when it touches that, I know that I am in focus. Now, the other option is our two beams. So we have our two beams that meet right there. Um, and they should meet when we are in focus correctly. Now, obviously we are higher than the tray here because we're on this coin but if i put it on the coin it should be 
one dot. And you can watch as I move up and down, that becomes one dot. And then as I get closer, they get further away and then they come together. So this is also adjustable. So I know that for sure, this is in focus. So if I bring it over here and it does not match up correctly and find something that you'll be able to see those two dots. As you can see, I can, I can visual, visually see those two dots there. Now, I'm gonna move this just a hair. These two are movable. And what we want to do is make sure that the red dots are overlapping when we are at our focus height that we calibrated with the, uh, the T-bar. So let me just show you. So you can see I can easily move this around. Um, what we want is we want to make sure that look back here. Now you can see it is way off, but I'm just going to move this around gently. Um, the first move might be a little bit difficult, but once you start moving them around a little bit, they move fairly easily. Okay. So as you can tell, that is overlapping. Um, now I can use either my red dot to focus or I can use my T-bar. Uh, they are both accurate. Keep in mind that these red dots, uh, for one, there is a button here to turn them on and off. But keep in mind that when you put in other lenses, you will have to calibrate that again to the lens that you're using. Or you just use the T-bar for all of the different lenses and you use the red dot for your main lens. Uh, when you come back to it, you know it's set properly. But that's how we're going to fine tune uh, both the red um, overlapping red lasers or our T-bar for perfect focus.